Uh, so hi everyone. Today we'll be talking about a very interesting library in Python that is NetworkX that helps us for graph analytics using Python. So basically, in my upcoming videos, I will be discussing about graph neural networks and graphs a lot, and hence this becomes a prerequisite for that. So let's get started. So in this case, we will be learning about a few baseline demos that is creating a graph and then going for a baseline graph analytical option operations like calculating connectivity betweenness etc so let's get started so first of all you need to pip install network x library as it is installed for me the next step what we will be doing is that we will be creating a city map or like a country map connecting cities of india and then displaying that graph as a first demo so first of all you need to import network x as you can see here as nx the next you need to move is to nx.graph so basically if you wish to build a undirected graph you need to call it graph else if you wish to build a directed graph you need to call digraph now the difference between graph and di uh, directed graph and directed graph is the edge direction so that i will be showing you so in the first case i am creating an undirected graph the next step is i am creating a list of tuples where the tuples has two value each tuple has two values that is the edge defining so these are the node names chennai delhi mumbai chennai delhi kolkata delhi bangalore and we will be creating an edge between them as you can see in the next step what i am doing add edges from and then we are providing the city graph list and once the add edges are added we are calling the nx dot draw in the last line as you can see with labels equals to true if you don't put the labels true you won't be getting the name of the node so here you can see the output this is the graph that we built here you can see that all the edges that we declared like for example chennai to delhi is visible here jaipur to chennai last one like this you can create a baseline graph and visualize it uh, using network x now here you can see that the names are coming out of it the color is blue you can play around with all these parameters so uh, once you are drawing nx.draw it uses matplotlib behind uh, in the hint side so you can read about it and eventually you can play around with the parameters now i will be showing you an example for a digraph so if i uncomment this and run this now here you can see that the edge uh, the edges that are present now has arrowheads so basically we have a path from chennai to delhi but not from delhi to chennai now but in, in case of an undirected graph if an edge is present you have a to and fro path this is the only difference now moving on to adding weights so basically uh, in most of the cases you would be adding attributes to the nodes or to the edges so in the next step what we are doing we would be adding an attribute distance to the edge so right now in the edges you can see no num nothing no parameters are present nothing no information is present just showing the connectivity now we'll be adding some information around the distance present between these two cities any two cities so the most of the code remains the same we'll changing a few things so instead of passing just the tuple with the name of the cities we will be passing a dictionary also with a parameter named distance colon the value so to add any value to the edge any relationship you might be adding this you might be you might want to add other information also like flights available it can be a text other things also you can add but here i am just showing you the distance so you need to provide in the tuple only for each tuple we were having just the city names earlier now you need to include one more one dictionary in this tuple with the name of key distance and value 700 distance 300 distance 10 likewise now once you're done with this you are again add edges from the same thing that we did now for the visualization purpose what we need to do nx.get edge attributes wg is the graph name graph object and the attribute that I want to get is distance. If it would have been flight, it would have been flight, right? It will look like it's not a constant name that you need to use. You can use whatever features that you're using. Get edge attributes and you will get the labels. Now for visualizing this, there's a little tricks that we need to play. So first of all, uh, network x dot spring underscore layout. You can call out other layouts also. There are other layouts present also. We need to create an object for that, passing the graph. Next, we need to draw your graph as we did in the first case with passing this pos object also and the next we need to draw the edge labels so we are drawing the graph separately and the edge labels that we got here get edge attributes separately and then doing a plt show 
so now you can see that you can see the distance is also visible between these edges right now in the third step uh, we will be taking a uh, advanced step now that we will be calculating some analytics over this graph that we are creating so these are so network has provide you with very simple built in functions to calculate a number of features over the graph here are the few features that we will be calculating degree the number of edges connected to a node representing its level of connectivity so for example if you are standing at chennai the degree of chennai would be 4 because it has four edges as you can see degree centrality it's the relative importance of a node based on the number of its connection right it's basically a ratio using degree uh, betweenness centrality so betweenness is basically out of all the shortest paths present between any two nodes so like for example if i calculate the shortest part is in hyderabad and mumbai it would be hyderabad chennai mumbai jaipur to mumbai jaipur chennai mumbai calcutta to jaipur calcutta ja delhi chennai jaipur so here you can see that of all the shortest path present which nodes are present in the most of the shortest path so as you can see between the centrality should be higher for chennai and delhi if when we will see the results because they are present uh, they are acting as a bridge right and eventually any shortest path in the other nodes would be passing through them only connectivity determines whether the graph is connected or not so by connectivity we mean we mean that all the nodes are connected with each other uh, all the nodes have an edge so basically it might be the case that some nodes don't have any edge and they are lying here so that in that case the network is not connected connectivity means all the nodes are connected connected components subgroups within a graph where all the nodes are connected with each other so like for example if this there is this edge is missing the middle one they would have been two connected components one is this one and other would have been this one and diameter the the, the, the longest of the shortest path so of all the shortest path present what is the longest length so most of the longest length would be hyderabad chennai delhi calcutta or bangalore whatever you take and it should be around 3 1 2 and 3 so how you can calculate all these analytics so there are many other uh, things that you can calculate but i am showing just for these you can check out the documentation so it's very easy to do we are considering the same graph that we are considered above only so first of all we are calculating the degree centrality basically importance of a node based upon its degree so it's very easy nx dot degree centrality call the graph and eventually for each node we are running this particular we are calling a print statement to check out so here you can see that chennai has the highest centrality followed by delhi as assumed right second is between the centrality it is also similar so like instead of calling nx dot degree centrality you need to call between the centrality so these are all determining the important nodes in your graph chennai has the highest followed by delhi degree what is the degree of each node g dot degree again chennai for chennai it's 4 delhi it's 3 mumbai is 1 so you can see that how calculating any analytics over the graph becomes very very easy with network x similarly you can check for connectivity also it should the answer should be true because the, all the elements are connected connected components are mumbai bangalore chennai all the so there is just one connected component present right because everything is connected and the diameter is 3 as i told you it is the longest shortest path present so all these attributes are just one line right and you, all these are pre built in network x so using network x you can go for graph analytics very easily and you can build out your graph and solve graph problems we will be using network x in our graph analytics uh, tutorials in the coming videos